assuming the lesson on binomial expansion, yes. So the question is, again, this is an example question. This. Okay. So the question is, find the ninth term. in the expansion of two minus five x power twelve. Find the ninth term. So when you get questions like this, you have two options. Either you use the regular formula that we discussed yesterday keep uh, finding the next value till the ninth term, which is pretty exhaustive, especially if uh, the question is find the 60th term. So we have to NC60 because that would be a lot of working. Instead, what you do now is use this formula. Here's the formula that's T R plus one which is term, T stands for term, equals to N, C, R, A, N minus R, B, R. Rest, this part is the same as the general form. Okay. T, R plus one. So we have to find the ninth term, right? We have to find T9, but we'll have to write T9 as T8 plus one. So R, is 8 and n we know from here is 12. So now let's substitute that in the formula 12 c 8 a is the first term of the binomial expression 2 power n minus r so that's 12 minus 8 which is 4 B is minus 5x and R is 8. So the answer for this is the ninth term, which we got pretty quickly. So that's going to be 12 C 8 times 2 power 4 times minus 5 power 8, which is giving me a huge value, 3.0937 into 10 power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, into 10 power 9, x power 8. This is the ninth term. Any questions? If the question was find the eleventh uh, term, so kya karte? Who can tell? How do we find the eleventh term? We have to find t eleven. What will we do? T ten plus one. Yes. 12C10. Yes, 12C10. Um, 2 power 2. Yes. Minus 5X power 10. Yes. Okay. And whatever is the answer would be the answer. It's going to be X power 10 for X. And this is going to be some huge number. Let's say 12C10. 10 times 4 times minus 5 power 10. So that's going to be 2.5781 times 10 power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 into 10 power 9. So this is a handy method to find a specific term directly. Instead of expanding the expression and 
uh, finding nine expressions till you get to x power eight, that would be a pretty lengthy. Okay. Now there's another part for this question. No, in fact, the question changed. So long. The question is that given x minus 3 upon x squared power 15, find the coefficient of one over x power nine. Okay, now a very long way of doing it is, which is not recommended, long method, yeah, lengthy method would be a more appropriate word. Okay, so the lengthy method is that you start expanding it the regular way. What is that? The first term is a power n, so that's x power 15. Second term is n c1, so 15 c1 x which is a power n minus uh, 1, 15 minus 1, which is 14, and then minus 3 upon x square power the bottom value, which is 1. Is this going to be the 1 over x power 9 term? Take then the numerator is x power 14. And the denominator is x squared. So no, that is actually going to be x power 10 term. Uh, in fact, x power 12 term. Okay, this is going to be something times x power 12. So no, this is not 1 over x power 9 term. The next term, they go give. The next term, they go give. The next term, they go give. You'll keep checking till you get 1 over x power 9. And then that would be that particular term. Coefficient up and batana, and this will take a lot Mr. of time. Question. Hmm. Uh, can you please recap as to how exactly we check k power kya hai? For example, how Yaha do we know x power 12? Power 12 14 bandra, numerator is x power 14, and the de denominator is x power 2. So, from the rule of indices, you have this becomes x, x power 12 minus 2. So, that's x power 12. So we have to find a term just, uh, 1 over x power x 9. R. R. Oh, huh. 1 over x power 9. Yeah, and other terms are our x power minus 9 numerator. Okay, what term find it? So let's okay. also look at the next term. Plus 15 c2 x power 15 minus 2, which is 13. And minus 3 upon x square power 2. Now, either the exam, what is going to be the x term? It's going to be the numerator is x power 13 and the denominator is x power 4. So this would give you x power 9 in the numerator. But we need 1 over x power 9, which is x power minus 9. So that's going to be significantly away from this term. Next term, next term, next term, x power minus 9. Okay? So instead, we will use another method, which is slightly trickier. So I need you to be uh, very attentive. So, so same method, tr plus 1. tr plus 1, ye wala method use kare. that is n c r a power n minus r and b power r. Achha. Ab we know what n is. n is 50. We know what a is. a is x. We know what b is. So minus 3 over x squared. What do we not know? We don't know r. We don't know that which term pe 1 over x 9 is. 
जिसका हमें कोफिशेंट चाहिए सो वी डोंट नो आर सो वॉट विल डू विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आर फ्रॉम हेयर अच्छा अब वॉट यू डू हेयर यू लेट सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज फर्स्ट वी हैव फिफ्टीन सी वी डोंट नो वॉट इज आर देन वी हैव ए विच इज एक्स फिफ्टीन माइनस आर and then we have b minus 3 upon x square and power uh, r which is still r okay so what we know we went it n pata hai a pata hai b pata hai we went it acha now we need to find the value of r from here now how do we do that this should be equals to some value like this 1 upon x power 9 right ab r ki hame wo wali value chahiye that gives us that term jo jiska jo 1 over x 9 ki term so we need that r that gives us the term which is in the form of 1 over x power 9 now what do you do here you ignore the constants ignore इग्नोर दैट ठीक है एक्स पावर फिफ्टीन माइनस आर इज नॉट अ कॉन्स्टेंट क्योंकि वो एक्स है एक्स इज नॉट अ कॉन्स्टेंट फिर ये माइनस थ्री दैट्स ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टेंट इसको भी इग्नोर करेंगे इसको और माइनस थ्री को इग्नोर कर देंगे पीछे हमारे पास वेरिएबल में क्या रह गया एक्स पावर फिफ्टीन माइनस आर डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स टू आर राइट बिकॉज इज आर हेयर एंड इज टू हेयर सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी एक्स पावर टू आर इन दिनोमिनेटर एंड दिस शुड बी इक्वल्स टू वन ओवर एक्स पावर नाइन From here we should be able to find the value of r. Let's see how we have to use indices rules for molar rules. X fifteen minus r upon x two r. Division rule क्या होता था subtract हो जाती थी powers. And I'm going to take that to the numerator. That becomes x power minus nine. So we have x fifteen. Minus r minus two r equals x power minus nine. That's going to be x fifteen minus three r equals to x power minus nine, and this should give us the value of r. That means fifteen minus three r is actually minus nine. So three R is what twenty four and R is eight. So we now know that R is eight. जब R eight होगा तो हमारे पास one over x nine वाली term आएगी. Okay. So since we've established the value of R, now we will go back to this formula. ये वाला. So actually the ninth term would be uh. Will give you the one over x power nine term. Okay, so t r plus one, so t eight plus one equals to n fifteen c r is eight a is x power fifteen minus r is eight and minus three upon x square and r is Important value eight. So let's see. Do we now get one over x power nine? Our numerator is what? Our numerator is uh, seven, and our denominator is sixteen. Does this give us one over x power nine? Are these two the same? X power seven upon yeah. x power sixteen. Yes, because If you take uh seven the seven power down, you get one over sixteen minus seven, which is in fact x power nine. So now let's find the constant fifteen c eight. 
टाइम्स माइनस थ्री पावर ए अच्छा एक मिनट जस्ट गिव मी सेकेंड Okay, so it's going to be fifteen p a times minus three power eight. Just coming out to be a big number four two 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 zero zero three five. So we're getting four the four triple two zero zero three five into one over x power nine. Four two 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 zero zero three five one over x na power nine. So the coefficient is this. This would be the answer. Just this part. The coefficient. Coefficient pucha tha ya term puchi thi. What was the question? Find the coefficient. Yes. So you just need to give the coefficient. Don't write uh, into one over x power nine. Okay, it's like I got That question is find the constant term in the expansion of. Find the constant value in the expansion of two minus nine. Hold on. x minus three upon x square power fifteen. So same binomial term, but a different location. So now we have to find the constant term in the expansion of this. So again, a linear way of doing this is apply the typical expansion, and then see in which term do you not get any x, and that would be the constant value. Which would be a final answer. Ustara bhi kar sakte ho. But since I'm teaching the TR plus one method to you guys today, so abhi isko usi method se karte hain. Sometimes you will get uh, the answer pretty quickly if you use the typical expansion as well. Because wo aisa question design hua hota hai ki wo third ya fourth expansion term mein aa jata hai. But kabi kabi nahi aata to then you have to resort to TR plus one method. I think isme jaldi aa jata hai is wale question mein, but Like I said, TR plus one. Okay, so it's going to be TR plus one equals n C R A n minus R and B R. Sir, are you bakar sunni? Kuch puch nahi re. Ji mas. क्योंकि थोड़ी बहुत समझ आ रही है हाँ क्योंकि कल का लेसन भी नहीं लिया ना और होमवर्क भी नहीं किया ये रोज होने लगा अगर कल के लेसन से मैंने देख के सारा कर लिया था तो फिर होमवर्क क्यों नहीं किया होमवर्क नहीं किया आप दोनों ने जब वो एंड हुआ था तो आपने जी बेटा टाइम आपने लिंक भेज दिया था क्लास का हम्म तो ठीक है मैंने तो भेजना ही था ना लेकिन जिस टाइम पे क्लास होनी है उस टाइम पे तो होनी है आपने अपना दिन इस तरह से मैनेज करना है कि आप टाइमली लेसन देख लो और आधा पौना घंटा होमवर्क के लिए भी बताओ तो अगर आप लोग होमवर्क नहीं करोगे ना तो डेली ऐसे ही कंफ्यूज बैठोगे जैसे आ, अभी बैठे हो प्लीज गेट योर एप टुगेदर और पढ़ना शुरू करो एक साल बहुत हमने एंजॉय कर लिया अब एक साल पढ़ लो यही साल है यू वोट गेट एनी अदर चांस ओके सो T R plus one is equals to N C R A N minus R B R is the typical formula. 
अब हमने क्या करना है हमें एन पता है विच इज फिफ्टीन सी आर नहीं पता मुझे नहीं पता कि विच टर्म इज गोइंग टू बी दॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज इट गोइंग टू बी द एट टर्म विच इज द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज इट गोइंग टू बी दिल्थ टर्म विच इज द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म वो मैं पता करने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ ए इज एक्स फिफ्टीन माइनस आर बी इज माइनस थ्री ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर पावर आर वट यू डू नाउ इज इग्नोर द कॉन्स्टेंट इग्नोर the constants okay so this is the constant 15 cr whatever r is 15 cr is constant and also this minus 3 power r is a constant isko hum ignore karenge so we get uh, x power 15 minus r times 1 upon x power 2r and that should be equals to a constant value if it's a constant value then what should be the power of x in a constant value zero yes because x power 0 is one. yes so this should be equals to x power 0 ab hame r ki value pata chal jayegi so we get x 15 this is going to be minus 3r kyunki jab 2r upar jayega it will get subtracted minus r minus 2r is minus 3r is equals to x power 0 so 15 minus 3r equals to 0 that gives us r is equals to 5 so r is 5 so that means t r plus 1 which is t 6 so it's going to be the sixth term which is going to be the constant term so let's rewrite this formula with the value of r that we have now so t 5 plus 1 equals to n which is 15 c r which is 5 a is x power 10 and b is minus 3 over x square power 5 so we have do we get a constant term now the numerator is x power 10 and the denominator is also x power 10 so yes they cancel out and you do get a constant term so we have 15 c5 times minus 3 power 5 so that is uh, again a huge value Minus seven two nine seven two nine. So that is the constant is minus seven two nine seven two nine. Okay, last question before we exclusively start the worksheet. question is find the value of n t q find n p q when 1 plus p x power n equal to 1 Minus twelve x plus twenty eight t square x square plus q x q. So there's p, there's n, and here is q. We have to find the values of these. Uh, okay so how do we do this we expand this using binomial expansion 1 plus px power n 
So the first term is 1 power n, which is just 1. The second term will be plus n c 1. The first term is 1, so we can just ignore it. 1 power n minus 1 is still 1. 1 ki koi bhi power ho jai, to 1 hi And then px power 1. So that's, this should be equals to minus 12x. Then the next term would be nc2. Again, 1 is not going to change. Any power of 1 is still 1, so 1 n minus 2. And then px power 2. This will be equals to 28 p square. And the last term would be nc3, 1 power n minus 3, which is just 1, px power 3. This should be equals to q. Okay. So now, let's start equating the two expressions. 1 is 1. So we're not getting anything from comparison, comparing these. Then the coefficient of x here is minus 12. And the coefficient of x that we got is this. Let's equate these. So minus 12 is equals to n c 1 p times other plus p. So the coefficient of x is minus 12. And the coefficient of x that we got after typical expansion is n c 1 times p. Okay nc1 is n. You must know this. nc1 with the n. So np is actually equals to minus 12. This is what we're gaining by comparing the coefficients of x. Now let's compare the coefficients of x squared. So x squared is 28p squared. And the x squared coefficient we got is nc2p squared. Okay, so 28 equals to n c 2 p square. And then lastly, the coefficient of x cube is q. And the coefficient of x cube that we got is this. So Q is equals to NC3 PQ. Okay, now how do we find the value of NP and Q? This was 28p square. This is 28p square. So there should have been a p square here. So now p square and p square cancel out on both sides. So 28 equals to nc2. Now what value of n here would give us 28? You can use hit and trial here. Try. Uh, 2c2, 2c2 is definitely going to be 1. We have discussed it where n, c, n is 1. Now try 3c2 in your calculator, then 4c2, then 5c2, and so on. And tell me which c2 gives you 28. Is it 3c2? I doubt it. No, that's 3. That's a pretty small value. Then 4c2 is 6. No. 5C2 is 10, no. 6C2 is... 8C2. 8C2, okay. So 28 is 8C2. So that means N is 8. So we did this by hit and fire. Okay. So N came out to be 8. So now we should be able to find P as well. Minus 12 
upon 8 equals to P. So that is going to be minus 3 upon 2. That's P. And now all that's left to find is Q. So Q is NC3 times P. Q. Uh, 8 C3 times minus 3 upon 2 whole cube. So what is the sequence to? Is it minus 189? Yep. Okay, so Q is minus 189. That would be all for today. You will be doing the next three to four questions as homework. Maybe Please kai lena varna phir in lessons ka koi fayda nahi ho raha if you're not trying the questions on your own. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Allah 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 Allah